five. Awesome. So go ahead and take it away. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Michelle Grigsby, and I am here to give you some information on how I am using Instagram to brand myself. And I I am not, I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, guys, I do not profess myself to be an expert by any means on, on Instagram. But what I did is, um, you know, about three and a half, four months ago, I decided to, you know, do something called a 90 days of truth challenge and what that did is I decided to utilize Instagram to um, use those videos to promote myself and guys I have to tell you doing that has brought my business to the next level is because I have a strategy behind all of that and so not only is it allowing me to uh, brand myself but I've been learning some things about Instagram as well, and once again, I'm not professing to be an expert by any means with Instagram, but I am going to show you what I'm doing, the strategies I'm using, and some suggestions I might have, and um, what I'm going to do, guys, is is I'm going to show you what I'm doing, and I'm going to show you... Um, some exact strategies I'm using and if you guys have any suggestions or any questions um, I can check back to the actual webinar room to see if there's any questions if you guys want to also utilize that for that um, but you know feel free to add anything to what I have to offer um, you know so I guess we'll just go from there so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to share my screen so if you guys want to verify that you can see my screen whenever I do that Can you guys see my screen? Awesome. Fantastic. All right. Okay, guys, what I am going to do, I'm going to show you my actual phone. This is my phone live. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you some suggestions, some tidbits on what to do to, um, you know, get set up with Instagram and how to um, utilize it to brand yourself. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to show you what I'm doing now. Since I finished my 90 Days of Truth Challenge, I started another challenge, which is 30 days attitude of gratitude and so during this hour I will shoot a video I will upload it to my Instagram account I will share it and I'm gonna share it both on my Facebook and my YouTube channel I'm gonna show you how I did that okay and I'm gonna show you how I'm utilizing that to also get the word out to other people so that I can get leads and brand myself so if you guys have any questions um, I will also keep my eyes peeled on in the uh, webinar room so that I can see if you guys have any questions but basically what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press the Instagram icon and hopefully it will open up and also I was wanting to record this so I'm gonna go ahead and do that too so if my thing crashes then uh, I'll be back <laughs> okay so basically guys the first thing that you want to do is you obviously want to set up your profile and when you set up your profile now I don't know for sure but I think you can have multiple accounts with Instagram so on this particular profile I'm actually branding Michelle from Kansas City so the name of my URL is Michelle from KC so go ahead and follow me if you if you um, want to follow me on Instagram I will be sure to follow you back that is something that I have learned is um, etiquette with Instagram and I'm going to show you a tool that I use where I actually will see people who are not following me back I can unfollow them because you know if I'm going to go look at somebody's uh, Instagram account and if I see that I don't have very many follow if I see they don't have very many followers but they're following a lot of people that doesn't really like impress me very much and so you want to look when you look to see how many followers somebody has you know you want to look to see how many how many they're following I mean ideally I'd like to not be following very many people and, and appear like I'm just totally in demand and everyone's following me but that's not going to be the case especially when you're new and there is a, a certain etiquette that people um, learn whenever you're on Instagram and that is if someone follows you it's it's 
natural etiquette to follow them back. And if you don't, then they're very likely might unfollow you. So um, that is one thing I want to make sure you understand. But whenever you guys set up your profile, you know, what you do is you want, you don't want to be spammy, okay? It's just like when we show you how to brand yourself on Facebook or other social media, okay? When somebody is going to check you out, you know, the first thing I want them to know is that I do love social media. I'm an online marketing coach, but I also am from Kansas City. I'm a huge basketball fan. I'm an entrepreneur. And then you are allowed only one place on Instagram, and that is in your profile to put a clickable link, okay? So what I'm going to what I'm going to share with you is you're going to notice on my posts, you do want to provide a call to action and tell them to click the link in your profile if they want to learn more about you. Because what's going to happen is, is if you click that link, it's going to take you actually to a video. And um, it's going to be a video where I'm inviting you to my free internet marketing training courses. But it's an actual opt-in form where you can get on my email list. And uh, so that's a really powerful strategy um, is utilizing a clickable link and you do put that in your profile, okay? So basically, um, let's see, I don't know why I'm really nervous. <laughs> I'm not used to you, I'm not used to this technology, I guess. Um, but you know, what you're gonna do guys is right now, I have this icon pressed, okay? And that's what you see is my profile, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is, and I know Rex, you did a training on this, um, as well, you know, the other day on some of the methods that you use, and I'm going to pretty much reiterate, you know, a lot of what you said, but, um, you know, what you can do here is this star here, I'm going to go ahead and press that, and hopefully the, the delay won't be too long. And what that will do, guys, is whenever you press that star button, it's, it's going to take you, it's an explore tab, okay? And what that's going to do is you're going to actually be able to go up here and you can literally like press on this little icon right there, the little hourglass, or not the hourglass, but the uh, magnifying glass. And what you can do at that point, guys, is you can type in hashtags and you can get an idea of what um, popular hashtags are out there. And I'm going to tell you that it's really, really important for you to utilize hashtags whenever you are using Instagram, okay? So, you know, for instance, let me go ahead and type it because it looks like there's a delay. Okay, what I just did is I just typed the word entrepreneur and... And what it will do is it will give you ideas of some other words, hashtags you can go after. And it will give you an idea of how many posts there are. So it will give you an idea of how popular those are. Okay. And so you can utilize hashtags that way. Another thing I do, guys, is I use, um, you know, I use Google AdWords. And I actually look up popular words and phrases, like the most popular words and phrases people are, are using. For example, network marketing work from home. Work from home actually gets twice as many searches than network marketing. So, you know, there's certain other hashtags you might want to think about. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to create a collection of those like on a, on an, um, you know, on an HTML or just another file folder, a text file. Okay. And I'm going to get to all that. Um, but, you know, the home, which is this icon right here, I don't really utilize that very much because I really don't go through and see what everybody else is posting because I belong, I'm following so many people that I really don't utilize this. So, you know, it would be nice if people did that to find my stuff. But really, um, I don't really know how many people actually go down this and actually look at what everybody's posting. Um, so I think what a lot of people do, though, is they utilize hashtags to find certain posts based on hashtags. So it, as I'm going down this, like, for instance, um, I'm going to look at what some people had posted, and I'm going to see one where I'm going to see a hashtag that somebody might have posted, which it looks like a lot of people are not utilizing. <laughs> Mm 
Hmm. Well, all right, I'm just going to go to my main profile for now because I want to get to the, the meat and potatoes of this, guys. Um, okay, I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm doing, okay? You want to be really strategic on the actual images and videos that you're doing. For instance, this was the last thing that I posted was this image where I'm offering, you know, my free training and on the image I have, you know, my URL. So if you go to this online with michelle.com, it's going to enable you to opt in to my free training list, which is going to put you on my email list. That is an awesome strategy. And then if you scroll down, you'll see that some of the hashtags that I'm using, and I don't know if you can see it. Okay, there we go. What I did is I said in this free training we did on Wednesday, we revealed some cool free tips inside of Facebook that you can use to set yourself apart from the competition. You've got to check it out. Now, ideally, I should have also said click on the link in my profile for more information, but I already have the URL inside the image. Um, but what I've done, guys, is if you look, I've got 52 likes on that. Now, I didn't get 52 likes on that from just utilizing these hashtags that you see, okay? The strategy that I'm using is, first of all, when people are going to go, um, you know, if somebody clicks on one of these hashtags, what's going to happen is, is hopefully they're going to see my image and they're going to see my profile. But initially, you know, if they're going to see that I don't have any likes at all on an image or a video, you know, I don't know. They might think that I'm not very popular, I'm not very well liked, and I want to get as many likes as possible no matter what, no matter who it is that's liking it. I just want to appear popular, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You want to appear like you're well liked and trust, right? Well liked and trusted. So what I'm going to do, guys, is, you know, what you want to do is whenever you upload an image or a video, you're going to want to utilize certain keywords or certain hashtags in order to get likes on your video or your image. And so, um, for instance, that was the last thing I had done, but I'm also doing a video challenge. And so the last time I did one, I'll show you the hashtags that I used, if it'll go to it. I know there's a slight delay. Okay, here's the video that I did. So here's the video, and what I did is I actually um, put something in the description, and I'm going to show you how to do that whenever I do an actual video, and then I added hashtags to it, and these hashtags are specific to getting likes, okay? And what I'm going to do is after uh, I've after I've kind of expended that, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add hashtags that is going to be attractive to people in my niche, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that, but guys, that is the key, is using hashtags, okay? So um, I have like a little cheat sheet here that I use, so. All right. So obviously, um, oh, one of the strategies that, you're, that you can use, guys, is <sighs> You can like and follow your ideal audience. So you want to actually look up these hashtags and see who's getting, who has lots of followers and who um, gets lots of engagement with these hashtags because you're going to want to follow them. You're going to want to see what they're doing. Okay. So go after, you know, whatever your niche is. So for me, it would be stay at home moms, entrepreneurs, students, well, not necessarily students, but network marketing, internet marketing and utilize that and then what what happens is over time I've collected um, hashtags that um, I utilize on a consistent basis and um, you know I know that Rex you had said that you don't utilize up to 30 hashtags but there's plenty of times where I will do that and the reason why is because obviously the more hashtags you have the more potential more people are going to see it and I personally have not had any problem but what I do is I usually utilize like different sets of hashtags so I don't put them all in one comment and so I'll utilize um, you know a certain number of hashtags to get likes and then I might add some other hashtags that you know targets my niche so um, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I want to make sure you understand, though, that as you know, there's a limit on how many hashtags 
you can have, and that's 30, okay? You also want to make sure that you are connected to your Facebook. It's very, very important because that is powerful because um, we do a lot of training on how to how to do marketing on Facebook and when you're doing relationship marketing you obviously want to connect this to your Facebook account and there's a certain thing I want to make sure you do whenever you do that and I, I'll get to that in a minute um, okay so what I'm gonna do is there's some other things if I have enough time I'll get to that but what I'm going to do for you guys is I am actually going to go ahead and create a video for today because I haven't done a video for today and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing, okay? And uh, so what I'm going to do, and I don't know if you can see that. I guess you can. <laughs> Put it on video mode. And it probably won't show this until I'm done, so I'm going to go ahead and record it. Hey, everybody. It's Michelle from Kansas City. And for my attitude of gratitude today, I'm absolutely grateful that I'm able to do a training for Instagram today. And I want to thank Rex for allowing me to be on this, this training and just let you know that you rock. All right. So what I did, guys, is I actually pressed – there's a button – that I pressed that's right here in the middle so I put it in video mode and then I held on to it for 15 seconds and then whenever I let go there's actually an arrow up here that you're gonna wanna press and I know Rex you did this on your training you actually shot a video and what you're gonna do then is you're then gonna be able to choose what you want your video to look like and I'm not really a big fan of that thumbnail so I'm gonna arrow over and it's gonna give me a choice of what I want my thumbnail to actually look like. I think that's fine. I'm not going to be too picky with it. And you guys can't see it, but there's an arrow up here. And so I'm going to press it with my finger. Okay. So I pressed it with my finger. And then what's going to happen is it's then going to allow me to add a description. Okay. So guys, it's very, very important that you add the description here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually. going to put I do put one hashtag on here okay and this is um, my attitude of gratitude hashtag so I'm going to put that on here and then I'm just going to just say you know in this video and actually I say I do stipulate that it's a 15 second video because I know a lot of people don't want to spend a lot of time watching videos if it's a everybody has a short attention span so always make a point to say that it's a 15 second video so in this 15 second video I reveal that I'm grateful to be on this training alright now you can't see it because there's a delay but um, what I did is I'm now scrolling down and I'm going to highlight Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. You guys want to make sure that you have an account with all three of those. So as you can see, it's highlighted blue. If I uncheck mark it or if I highlight it again, it's going to unhighlight it. So I'm going to click Tumblr again. It's going to highlight it by turning it blue. Okay. And then what you do is then you hit this arrow button right here. Okay, now what that's going to do, guys, is it is going to automatically upload it to my Instagram account as well as my Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Okay, so I'm going to hit that arrow. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that it is on my Facebook account. This is really powerful, guys. First, I want to make sure there's nobody with any questions either. Oh, I'm using actually um, TeamViewer. I'm using TeamViewer. And I could do a tutorial on that, you guys, if you guys want help with that. <laughs> All right. Now we're on. Here's my Facebook. Let me go ahead and refresh that. Okay. No, it's not on yet. Shoot. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, I gotta show this to you guys. I have to show this to you. It upload failed. This happens quite a bit. Okay. I hit refresh, so I'm gonna hit this little icon right here. For some reason, it does that. And now it took. Okay. So it finally took. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna check here on my Facebook. There it is. And it will populate the whole video. But I want to point something out to you guys. Whenever you guys upload this, let me hit refresh again. Whenever you, oh geez. When you guys upload this to your, your Facebook account, look right here. This is really, really important. By default, it's only being viewed by my friends. And you guys, we're all in marketing and we don't want just our friends to see this. So you want to hover over this and you want to click on it and you want to make sure it's public. And while you're at it, you might as well go down your wall and make sure that everything else is set to public because I notice a lot of people have theirs on private. All right? So make sure that all your posts are public. And what happened here, and here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit this so that my, let's see, you can edit the video and I can choose a different thumbnail. That one's fine. And I'm going to do a title. And it's 15 second video. I'm grateful that I'm able to do this training. Attitude. All right. I'm going to save that. Okay, all. all right. There we go. Now, make sure there's no questions. Okay, dope. And now, guys, this is where we get to the meat and potatoes. I'm going to go back to my actual phone. And what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go to that, and I'm going to actually open up another app, and it's called Tags for Likes. I'm going to click on Tags for Likes, and this is an awesome app that I use, and basically what it is is it's Tags for Likes is an app where I actually go to the follow, shout out, like, comment. I click on that, and then I click like. And those are about 19 tags. I'm just going to click copy tags. And then what I do is I then, oops, I have to do it for my phone. Gosh, I keep going back and forth. I'm on my phone. I'm going to go back to my Instagram. Oops. Gosh. And I'm going to go to my video. Michelle from Kansas City and, and what you do then is right here where you add the comments is you add a comment and where it says add comment you add the hashtag and then I'm going to hit the blue arrow over on the right. Now what's going to happen is you then if you look here it's going to show you, if I hit refresh, well, thanks, Rex. Pretty quickly, you're going to see, almost immediately, people are going to start liking that video, which is pretty cool. And so usually what I'll do is I already have, oh, Rex, <laughs> um, I'll probably get, you know, 12 to 15 likes pretty quick on just from posting those hashtags to like. Okay? And those will stream in pretty quickly, okay? And um, 
Another thing I want to make sure though is that's 19 hashtags and generally you know you're going to get those likes pretty quick and then it's going to kind of like it's going to move your image or your video is your video or image is going to get moved down in the news feed basically and so eventually what you're going to want to do is you are literally going to want to go back and this is a strategy I use I don't know if there's any gurus that that even teach this I've heard one person teach this but nobody else has taught this when I watched webinars and trainings on Instagram and I do go back and I do delete my hashtags and I go back and I add new hashtags and you guys saw a comment that I posted last week I went back and I added hashtags I got opt-ins into my list because of that whenever I had that image that image about the free training I got a ton of opt-ins from that and um, so yeah so basically as you can see I'm getting a lot of likes already on this video so what's going to happen is guys is over time when I go back and I'm going to add different hashtags to that video you know people are going to see that I've already got likes on so they're going to see that I'm you know that I have people that liked my video I think that you know it's just like on Facebook if you don't have any any likes or any comments on any of your posts you know it kind of speaks volumes so basically, you know, as you can see, I'm getting lots of likes. So, and I see a couple of you guys are my friends. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, so that is one of my strategies. Now here, guys, I want to show this to you. You can actually go to Instagram.com on your, on your desktop as well. And you cannot upload videos or, can, or or pictures from your desktop. However, you can go do make some. You can go make some changes. So, for instance, you can edit your profile right here from your desktop. Okay, this is actually where I uploaded my information. I I just copied from a text document because if you don't copy and paste this, then it's all going to be run together. And I like to have it look orderly. So um, I actually did it from my desktop and I added that all here, okay? So here you can, you can adjust and change. You can change your website as often as you want, okay? But um, let me go back and view my profile. All right, so now we've got, I've already got nine likes and somebody's already asked me to like them back. Rex has left me a message, I appreciate that. And um, so as you can see, I've already got some likes on this, okay? Now, this is really cool, guys. Um, what you want to do is there's actual places that you can go to, to find out, like, what the most popular hashtags are. And, you know, just you're gonna, just going to find over time what's going to be most popular. I actually have a list here of things that I use. And since I already have, I believe, 19 here, you know, I might want to add five or six. And so, you know... It really just depends. And what I would do is you can change this around. You know, you can actually, um, you can add companies. Like, for instance, I have one that has Herbalife, World Ventures, Isagenics, I Need a Job, Get Inspired, Internet Marketing. In fact, you know what? I'll just grab these right here. And I think I'll grab those. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's going to be fine. I'm going to copy that. Then what I'm going to do is I go to the comment section and I copy it right here on my desktop. Okay. Thanks, Brenda. Appreciate that. I'm going to refresh it. And now you can see that I've got both my like hashtags as well as some niche hashtags. And eventually, guys, you know, probably tomorrow I'll probably delete the likes and add more that's more niche specific. Okay. And uh, anyway, there is my video, and that is a strategy I use to get likes and also to, um, you know, find my target niche. I use niche hashtags. Do you guys have any questions? No, there's not, Keisha. There's not any way. I've already Googled it, tried to find out. There's no way. You have to do it from your phone. I wish there were. The privacy thing again, okay. I'm talking about on Facebook. If you go to Facebook, whenever you upload videos, 
or anything that's third party by default and a lot of people have their settings set up so that whenever they up they post things to their Facebook it shows that it's private a lot of people have it by default set up to their friends and all you do need to do is just go to your settings and change that okay but for your Instagram for some reason it always goes to friends whenever I upload even though I have my settings for everything to be public so you just need to hover over the little tiny icon that's right below your name and then the date stamp or the time stamp and then it will if it was done via you know if I had another page it would say it and then there's a the little icon right here you just hover over it okay and then you just change it so you can literally be specific you can have a certain list only a list will see what you've posted as well as public friends you know so you definitely want to be on public all right, so I hope that helped. Okay, um, let me see if you guys have any questions. Yeah, the um, the app that I used. Let me go back. And I, we actually have a link. I can give you guys a link to this. Um, Tags for likes is the actual. Now this is. This is um, a Samsung, so this is an Android. This isn't an iPhone. And guys, something else I need to point out to you that's really, really important is when you do hashtags, um, make sure you make sure that you are not utilizing hashtags that are banned, okay? Um, you know, I could show you that there's, like, you can just Google and get a website that will give you a list of all the banned hashtags, and some of them are pretty obvious, like all the nasty words and all that, but there's actually some other words that are banned you cannot use. For instance, right here, shower, photography, lingerie, iPhone 4S, as well as iPhone, Instagram, I love my Instagram, and IG, those are all banned. You guys cannot use those hashtags, okay? So if you use those hashtags, then it will not work. You will not, it will not even appear, your picture will not even appear, your video or picture will not appear at all. So you don't want to use those. And then of course some of the other ones are pretty obvious. Blocked. What, do you, what does that mean, Keisha? Did you have a question? All right. Okay, guys, another thing I'm going to show you is I now have several of these that are, I've done, I think, eight now of my Attitude of Gratitude, and I'm going to show you a really powerful, powerful strategy that I'm utilizing to um, also get my myself out there because we are branding ourselves. And so I'm going to go to my YouTube channel, right? So here I am. I'm in my YouTube channel. And Okay, so here's my YouTube channel. And if you look here, you can see I've got some videos where I've gotten quite a few views. So obviously I want people to go to my YouTube channel because I want them to learn more about me. And what I've done is I actually put everything in a playlist. And if you don't know what a playlist is, I'm going to show you how I create one, okay? So basically, everything is in a playlist. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a video, and I'm going to start by, I'm going to take my very first video. That's day one. My very first video is this one I actually did with my husband. So this is my very first video, my day one attitude of gratitude, and I'm going to start a playlist on YouTube, and I'm going to upload this, okay? Make sure there's no questions. One more thing, I'm just starting with, can you talk about the kind of pics I should be uploading? Um, Keisha, I would be doing pictures that is, you know, you can go to my wall and you can look and see what I'm uploading. Can you guys hear me? I hope you can. Okay. Can you guys can you guys verify that you can hear me? <laughs> I just want to make sure. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so I'm on my YouTube channel, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take your video. Now, guys, I have to tell you, videos, it's Jeff is is a perfect example of somebody who started doing the 90 days attitude of gratitude or the 90 days of truth video challenge he has told me that it he has learned so much about himself just doing it for a week to two weeks and you are gonna learn so much about yourself how to do videos you're gonna learn so much I can begin to express that to you and you are going to love this I promise you and, and guys you don't necessarily have to show your face you know every time you do a video you can show something else. I mean, you know, but the thing is, is that this is such a great way to brand yourself. And so here's my very first video where I'm showing that I'm grateful for my husband. And what it's done here is here is the URL. Do you see this right here? This is the actual URL of that video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to copy it. And then what you guys do is you go to instadown.com. And I want to thank Donna Rios for sharing this with me. This is such a such a rock star um, little tool here. And all you do, guys, is you just copy that. You paste it right there, and then you click Insta Down. And what it's doing, guys, is it's literally downloading that into an MP4. So I'm going to name that Day One on my. I'm going to create a folder in my videos, new folder. If it will let me. Attitude. Oh my gosh. Of gratitude. Okay. So this is day one. So I'm going to save it in my Attitude of Gratitude folder. Okay. And then what you do is you then go to your YouTube channel and I'm going to upload and I'm going to click click select files day one day one um, and maybe put a link to my blog but I'm probably gonna to want to come back and you know optimize this and guys what I do with all of my videos is I actually put the URL of my video in there as well as some keywords that people might find me on like um, not, or I'll do like a video challenge and I'll put video challenge up in my title I need to do a little bit more research though and then I also put it in my And we're going to be doing trainings, more YouTube trainings, but um, I'm definitely going to want to utilize probably 8 to 12 keywords that will be specific, and then you want to link all of your videos together. But um, basically, this is what I've done. You want to choose the best thumbnail. I'll go ahead and just choose that one. And then add to playlist, and I'm going to create a new playlist, and I'm going to call it my attitude of gratitude challenge okay so I added that as well as personal videos and I want to verify okay let me publish that open that and video manager playlist let me make sure it's in there attitude of gratitude all right it didn't take it for some reason let me go back I'm gonna edit actually no I'm not gonna edit I'm gonna play it and I'm going to add to all right let me try it again attitude of gratitude challenge create playlist okay awesome now I have a playlist 
Now guys, this is really, 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 really powerful. Let me tell you why. Because as you add more videos to your playlist, okay, what's going to happen is when you click on that, for instance, when you go to the playlist, if I just click on, like, let me give an example. Here I am on my 90 Days of Truth video, okay? When you click on this, you literally, well, this is a, this is actually a, um, something separate, but normally people will have, like, competitors' videos on the side, okay? But this is a plug-in that I have so I can see what other keywords people are using, which we'll be offering in a YouTube training. But, um, you know, what you want to do, guys, is instead of giving people the link to the video, you want to give them the link to the video in the playlist. So when you go to the playlist, and then you go to my video challenge, right, what's going to happen is, is when you go to that, and then you get the URL for that, what is so cool about that is when you open a video in the playlist, as you can see, it will automatically go to the next video, and then it will go to the next video, and then the next video. And this is a really powerful strategy because what happens is, is whenever I posted this on my Facebook profile, I then would also put on there, click here to see the rest of my videos. And I went to Bitly and I just created a shortened URL and you know, so people were able to not only watch that video, but then they could also watch all my other videos. And it's really cool because you're not you don't have to worry about competition because it's in the playlist. This is such a great way to brand yourself. People can go, hmm, I want to learn a little bit more about Michelle, and they'll watch that video and then it will automatically go to my next video. This is really, really powerful, you guys. You guys get anything out of this? What do you guys think? Any questions? Let's see if there's any other nuggets I can give you. Um, let's see. Make sure that you don't use the band hashtags. Um, I will be more than happy to um, share this in our private group if you guys are on our team. I'll be more than happy to share this file with all these hashtags that I'm using. And I'll just I'll just share this whole file for you guys. Um, Okay, here's another thing I want to share with you guys. This is really cool. Since we have some time, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do with images. And I think it was Keisha that had asked this. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I have to tell you about this other app too. This is really phenomenal. Now I have to find it. Okay. This app app that says Followers Plus. Let's see if you can see it. All right, right here, I'm going to click on this. This is really powerful, guys, because when I open this up, I can see who has unfollowed me recently. I can see people that I'm following that are not, that I'm not following back, that people are following me, I'm not following them back. And the reason why is a lot of times it's because either it's a channel that I don't think is appropriate for me to follow, or I did request to follow them, but they still have to approve me. But as you can see, I, there's 40 users that are not following me back, okay? What I do, guys, is I actually use another app to get followers. If you guys want help with that, I'll be more than happy to show you that. That's a nugget because you know what? I mean, we're, if we're all new to Instagram, we want to get as many followers as possible and do it legally, but at the same time, you know what? If you just want to show that you've got followers, it's all about perception, right? What people see. But I will tell you this. After I get a bunch of followers, I don't want to look like I'm going after a bunch of followers. I don't want to show that I'm following a thousand people and I've only got 600 followers, okay? I want it to look like, you know, we're pretty much the same, okay? And if somebody has not followed me back and I've followed them by this app I'm going to show you, all I do is I click on that and it's going to show me who it is that's not following me back because it's you know, a lot of people that are new to Instagram don't know that it's common sense that you should follow them back when people follow you. But if they aren't following me back, I'm going to go ahead and just unfollow them. So I highlight those. And then at the bottom, I just click unfollow and I have unfollowed them. Okay. Because what that's going to do is that's going to show that I'm not following as many people. I am not going to be following people that are not following me back. Okay. So, um, but at the same time, if I've gotten a lot of followers, I want to follow them back as well, because if not, then they might unfollow me. It's kind of a game. I know, it's funny. 
So that is one app, and it's uh, the Followers Plus. And then there's another app I want to show you that's pretty cool. This enabled me to get a whole bunch of followers really, really fast. It's called Get Followers. I'm going to click on that. Run later. And what this is, guys, is I simply just start following a bunch of these people, and what it does is it gives me points. And for every 10 points I earn, I get followers. So I'm following all these people, right? And after 10 points, I get followers. So right now, I've got 40 points, so I'm going to get four new followers. Do you see how that works? So I'm getting followers, and there's a limit. You can only do 160 per hour. Okay, because uh, Instagram doesn't want spammers or people that are abusing this. So what can happen is that after I do this a few times, you can literally, like uh, Rex said, you can be in the doctor's office and you just start following a bunch of people, and then you'll you'll start getting a bunch of followers. And then what you want to do is go to that other app and make sure you follow them back. That way they won't unfollow you, and that's a great way for you to get a bunch of followers. Okay, so I just gave you guys a ninja nugget on how to get followers without having to manually go after people and follow them, okay? Um, another really quick thing is, and I know we've only got like a couple minutes, so um, another really cool app I use is Inspirational Quotes. This is an awesome, I just posted this image today, and it was um, Prove Them Wrong. I don't think you can see it yet. All right. I'm going to go back, and this is an awesome, awesome app where you're able to just like grab an image, okay? So I'm going to grab an image, and I'm going to use that, and what I'll do is I'll save that to my screen, okay? And what I'll do then is I'll then upload it, but there's another app I use, and guys, what I'm about to show you is all your images, ideally, you're going to want to do um, a watermark on your images. I use an app called PicLab right here. Okay? When you click on that and you open that up, you then I'm going to click that and it will allow me oh gosh. <laughs> All right. Let me take that one. Let me take this one right here. All right, what this did is by default, it pulls up, and, you know, obviously what you're going to do then is you're going to want to double tap, and you can put, like, your website. So I'm going to start typing my website. Make it white. Okay. Boom. There's my website. Okay. Maybe put it up here. And then I hit the arrow, and then I can share that to my Instagram. There it is. Then I hit the arrow at top. There's an arrow at the up here. And I'm going to go ahead and share that, do a description. You always want to put in a description because if not, when you add hashtags, it will be placed up here and you'll never be able to change it. Okay? I'm not going to add that to Facebook because I've already added that to Facebook. And there it is. All right, so if you guys see, I just uploaded an image in like two minutes with a link to my, with my website, a watermark. So you always want to ideally watermark your images. Now, obviously, you can go back and you can choose different fonts, different colors. You can rotate it. You can do really cool things with that, but I just wanted to show you that to illustrate. Now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to go in here, right, and I want to like it. I want to get people to like that, so I'm going to paste that. Boom. See how fast that was, guys? All right. <sighs> Did you guys learn anything? Rex, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. What What'd you think? thought it was awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I learned a lot today. i got to go back and watch the recording now. Sweet. There's a lot of good stuff in here, guys. I hope you guys were taking notes. I'll have a recording of this on YouTube, and we'll make it available through our group on Facebook. 
And uh, thank you very much, Michelle, for uh, doing this today. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. So, so. All right, for those of you that are in the uh, room here, we're getting ready to jump over on our next webinar, which is located here. For those of you that would like to join us, our fearless leader, Val Smith, will be conducting a webinar here. It's actually live now, and uh, you're all welcome to join us there. And then we'll be training again tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern time. For those of you that are already on our Legends Network team, uh, tonight begins our exclusive private trainings. Um, you, will need to, you will need to provide your... Legends Network user ID in order to remain in the webinar room. So make sure that you have that available to you. And with that, again, thank you very much, Michelle. Appreciate this. We'll see you guys on the other webinar, and we'll see you again tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks, guys.